كوسر موسو كمي دا قبدها اقوين يهنا داي مغالا دا تاني كولومبوس ايا كودا واق داي اني او تاقن تاهي دونيس تا بوس كحل ديبان نمي اي حافد لحاد وحا اي شاك تاي هادي اي كو قولي ستو بوس كاسي اني لا ايمان دون تو اسبدل دادكو ما هاديان كونا ادن دين عيدا قريها عافيمات كا يقنان يرادا واي كلا داقالا مي دون تو من دوريها كولان كي اي كو شاعين اي سي وحا قوبتو كا اها قيبها بلشا دا وحانا انتو دي كا هادا شاع إن كوسر أي تهاي قف بلشادة كدح موقتا أديك بدان لا أسو قابتاي لون باهان يهاي هاتن إني أقور تاميل ساري أو بلشادة وح موقدا أي أوغا غابان كرتو وحان سي بوحدة أنو تاقر سنة هاي قباداس إن وحاوي أمد الصوماليات إي أمد أوردن باقارهان وحاوي أي كاقيب قاتان دور الشادة إن شاء الله وتعالى ما دام ما أنت وأي رفتو إني ستاكتو مجتمع إني وحوق قابتو يلا مركي وربا وحاو قبنا يسي حضنا إنا يسي اللي بتجيب بارتو مسؤولية ده إنا مركي ومضو حاو يجرب يجاشان ديت هاي وحاو يهن إنا دور تام حديت هاي إنا دقالك وجرب يستعان حديت هاي إنا محنق هاي أي نعيا ذكر دون تاجر ده حاو يموتيان I've had the honor of working with Sister Carter Muta for last almost six to seven years and she is a brilliant young lady who wears her, sleeve, uh, her heart on her sleeves. Her passion is always there for the community at large. She's empathetical, she's a fighter, she's a voice of the community of marginalized uh, you know, ethnicities and diversities that uh, make, up the, make up the composition of our greater Columbus area. She's always there with her wit and with her courage to support and be voice for everyone. It is a person like her caliber, a leader like her spirit, uh, with her spirits that we really need to be elected and representing our community and the interests of our diverse community that make up, again, our great city of Columbus area. Um, it's, it's a pleasure to be in, invited here to be a part of Calder's uh, campaign. It's wonderful to see more people stepping up that truly represent the community. And I, what I know of Calder is extremely impressive, the work that she does out there in the community on a regular basis and I'm really excited to be part of this with with all of you so thank you. I want to start off by introducing Kothar. Um, although she's my Javier, she's also my mentor. Um, Kothar has done so many amazing things for the community and I could talk forever about the things that she's accomplished here in Ohio and other communities as well and back home as well as Somalia. Um, Kothar uh, is dedicated and loves the idea of community. Kothar dedicates her entire free time on giving back to her community. Now is our turn to give our time to Kothar. Today, today we officially launched this campaign. We worked really hard on collecting petitions, but by the grace of God, we were able to get them submitted on time. For every campaign, we need a few things. Donations, volunteers, just like word by word, mouth to mouth, just letting people know that both does, you guys, like, I can't even, I can talk all day about the amazing things that she has done for people here in Ohio. I'm going to be very brief. I'm here to endorse Kautar Busa for District 6. Uh, and, and, and the reason being, uh, you know, it's not about any of us who are here, it's about Kautar, right? So several months ago, I was doing my regular rounds and visited you know, one of our sites and then uh, saw Kautha, say, hey, Dr. Mohammed, you have a minute? So we started to have a conversation. Kautha started away. There is a district opening. Before she finished, I say, run. <laughs> because that's Kautha. I mean, people who know her know her about these two words that is out there, community-driven and compassion in action. And that's exactly the same thing she demonstrates at her work every single day. So I want to endorse her, I want to support her, I want to do everything I can do to see people like Kautha being represented in our state so that they can make a decision that serves all of us. To just say, I am not permitted to engage in politics. That's a very important part of uh, how our system works is that judges are not political. Uh, but I am allowed to be here. And I am allowed uh, to, to say a couple of things. I'm going to try and walk that line very carefully, uh, if I may. When I ran for judge, uh, speaking about diversity, speaking about equity, speaking about inclusion, uh, talking about my own experiences uh, coming from someplace else and, and trying to find a community, 
Cother showed up. Uh, when I spoke about my values, Cother showed up. When it came time for folks to get elected for offices all throughout Franklin County, Cother showed up. And while I can't tell you who to vote for and I can't endorse a candidate, I can certainly say that when Cother asked me to be here today, I showed up. And on election day, when it comes time to do something, I can't tell you who to vote for, but I can certainly tell you, please show up. Uh, I think the question has um, a lot of uh, commitment for the education background, work background, and she can, uh, she, she can represent us, all of us. And uh, also, the important thing is we have to remind each of us is what is important for, uh, uh, for representation for the uh, House of Democracy for House 6. Uh, it is about she can, uh, she can do us a lot of things. And also, I will mix English as Somali, guys, because I want to understand everybody what I'm saying. Um, she can effectively advocate us uh, of the community. Uh, she also can change for us if we need subject of legislation. She can also represent what the community needs. She can do a lot of combination of, of the uh, of the countries. But the best things uh, we meet with the nice people like Ismail Mohammed, uh, representative of the District Three. Uh, and he support us. And there's a there is a daughter Zaka. Uh, she support us and me in my community. And meanwhile, uh, we support Dr. Dorothy from uh, World Helper. Uh, they support me in my community. Uh, but uh, the first time when uh, we, we want to support some people to go to the representative, we have two things. Uh, the support financially, we support, we need to support them, and also we need to cast in the wood. And any, from the moment I've known Kothar, I've known her to be someone who works for the community. And anytime she calls me up and says, hey, let's do this, I say, yes, let's do it. I often wonder, too, if she has found a way to create more time and energy because she does so much for the community and we really appreciate it. And she told me that she's running for office. I was so excited and I said, absolutely, you must, right? So somebody already mentioned that Kothar is community driven, compassion in action. I mean, I can't find any better words and I'm a words person. I mean, I love reading and I love writing, but those are really words that describe her. I really appreciate the fact also that somebody else mentioned that more new Americans are taking part in the political process and that this is our home now. Um, some of us, or many of us, were born in other places and we're here now, but our children know no other homeland. This is their home. And we do have a duty and a responsibility to fight for their rights, to create a better future for them, and to make sure that they have representation. Right, that they appear in every facet, in every aspect of the society that they live in. كان بينكو هو بعيا وقت الله شقيه ترتمها هو بعيا العق هو بعيا هاي بحلا لا قبل كرودن الباب هذا الجراء معروف هذا اللوت هو ذاك اللي حيريه حصل له بعيا بركة إن شاء الله دو إلهي إلى هذا حاجة سوحية اللي واركتين العقل الأورونا هي وهي هذا يستمر شريك. هذا وحكيني كثير مستقبل فلقى سوي إنت هالسوا هالسوا مالقا. Thank you for coming. Good afternoon. Thank you for coming, everybody. To start with, I ran for a city council in 2005. I failed. I tried again. 2007, I failed. But finally, 2006, I got that seat. So the reason, the reason I'm telling you that is, you know, you have to be consistent. If you want to work for community and you have an agenda, you have to be consistent. No matter, you can fail, you can fail, but you can prevail at the end. So today we are helping somebody. She is one of few 
Somali community activists that we call our heart. Marka also no ujeda the goal kega today wa wa we ya mahana al kan ujogna wa anal kan ujogna ina subot kareno kawadena polashena hogan kena a community da kosa muse. I'm reading something now. How we can support? They say money. Say, not only money, not only action, we need to support the heart. And that's what we can do it. I'm going to make it in a government. I'm going to support it. I'm going to go on the job. That can be a show of the year. I'm going to get in there. خاف كستو أود يسا إيه كران كيسا إيه دنيم ديسا إيه درجة ديسا إن هو مركا هو رأسه كبدا سؤال يبغى قلب نظيفة هاد كلام to support for her إن شاء الله وعن كادر دارنا يا ماتين وقت كي جحوا أو سو نك سنين السلام عليكم everyone hello everyone I did not prepare anything but as far as I know كوسا ما شاء الله this is her opportunity, and this is what she is meant to do. She's a great person. She's a great leader, and I will support you 100%. You go, my sister, and you can do this. You got this. District 6 is yours. Congratulations, inshallah, ahead of time. I'm giving it to you. Uh, so now it's my utmost pleasure to uh, you know, invite to the podium the son of our community, Brother Ismail Muhammad, who is an elected official uh, and has been doing marvelous things. In your round of applause, I would like Brother Ismail to take the podium. And before I give the floor to him, I would also like to invite uh, our Honorable Council President from Reynoldsburg, Meredith, please uh, join us here in your round of applause. And while Meredith and uh, Ismail, uh, Representative Ismail is going to be taking the podium from here on, and of course, before they introduce culture, they will play a song from Somali celebration, but I would like to say a few words about Brother Ismail. You know, the work ethic that he has performed or actually brought forward in the, uh, you know, our, our, our elected office capacity has actually stood him out very outlierish from the rest of uh, the, the politics uh, or the politics of general elections in, in Central Ohio. I have a lot of admiration for his strength and his uh, you know, vision in bringing the communities not only from his district, but he's always looking into bringing the bridge building aspect from other districts as well. And whether it's the, the Muslim community or the Somali community, he does not differentiate. He is working for everybody. He is a house rep for all Columbus people. So a round of applause for his strength, his demeanor, his aptitude, and his class. So with that, Brother Smile, please. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank, thank you so, so much, much for that, Brother Imran Malik. Uh, let's round of applause for Imran, by the way. Amazing MC. Okay. We're all happy to be here, excited on this cold afternoon. It's definitely not easy to come out uh, this morning, this afternoon, and to be here says a lot about uh, Kotha and the kind of person that she is, that you all would be, uh, obviously, be here today and not, uh, not doing, uh, spending time with your families. So uh, I'm going to talk briefly about Kotha and just talk about how many years I've known her and all of work that we've done together. But briefly, just for those that don't know me, uh, I represent Mohammed, represent the third district in the north uh, east side of Columbus. Uh, I represent North Linden, Clamville, and uh, by the way, Ben Leland, such a pleasure to see you, a good brother and someone who's a big community activist in the uh, Clamville area. Uh, I've served now for a year. I was just elected in 2022, and, uh, and I see, I mean, firsthand that we need people that are passionate about community service. Uh, we have a great caucus, Democratic caucus. We're our number two to one, unfortunately. That's why we need good Democrats running for these offices. But all the more reason we need people that have a lived experience of service, compassion, uh, and that is Kothar's slogan. That's not just a slogan, that's something that she lived by. I've known Kothar now since 2016 for nearly eight years now. We've done a lot of work together, and uh, Kothar is a healthcare professional. She is a served in uh, area commission before, community worker, someone who does not ask questions. You can call Kothar any time, day or night. She will show up. Uh, I think a lot of our elected officials, both judicial candidates, but also our sitting elected officials, all of them know her because she was at the Board of Elections. She was a regular there daily. 
you know, passing out flyers, literature uh, out there canvassing for our Democratic elected officials. Uh, and uh, she's someone who, again, does not ask questions, someone who truly has compassion for heart. Uh, she's done quite a lot of work with, again, Capitol Park Family Medical Center. Uh, doctor, thank you so much for coming out as well. Thank you for your service. And she has done a lot of work when it comes to health care, making sure that, especially our immigrant population who have a lot of issues accessing health care. She was, did a lot of work doing COVID vaccines. Uh, I know that because I call her often at different community event, events. And I needed her to get bring people to register voters, to get people health care coverage, to get them uh, to understand you know, uh, personal health care and how important that is. She's been out there day and night, and again, this was not, she didn't have, it was not her official duties, this is her passion for service. And that's truly what go through is. So the biggest question an elected official has to ask themselves is, why run? Why do you want to run for office? That's the biggest thing that you will get when you're out there on a campaign trail, uh, door knocking, canvassing, why are you running? Well, it comes from, I mean, she is someone who has already been doing the work. So for her, it's, it's easier to say, I've already been doing this as a private individual. I just want to have a broader impact on a policy level. And I have, believe me, I literally had to beg Kotha to run for office because I told her, you know, you've been supporting all these different candidates for that many number of years. You know, you live in the West Side, you're doing a lot of West, West Side activities, and you should consider running. And she said, oh, no, I don't think I'm ready. That tells you how humble she is. And that is not a weakness, that is literally a strength. And if more people were like that, it would really be helpful. But the fact that she put her head on, in it and now is winning means that she's serious about it. But we need everyone to door knock, to canvas, to also donate to a campaign. Kothar is a very, uh, she's a very polite person. Uh, you know, I don't mind asking people for money, but Kothar is a very polite individual. So, you know, we definitely need your support. Again, I'm going to introduce our phenomenal Wendell's World Council President, Mary Flossen Rowe, uh, someone who literally has served, we can clap, we can clap, there you go. Someone who has done a lot for Reynolds Works, also someone who's a candidate now, she's also running for state representative, and someone that I support wholeheartedly as well, uh, and someone who's been in the trenches, she's, she's not new, she's been through it all. So uh, again, without any further ado, Council President Mary Flossen Rowe. Assalamu alaikum. Thank you, Rick Mohammed. <laughs> greetings. I bring you greetings from Reynoldsburg on the east side. I, yes, yes, yes. I'm Council President Meredith Lawson Rowe. I began serving um, fresh out of the womb. I, my mother was a community organizer and a community activist. And so many of the rights that she fought for me, I am out there in the trenches fighting for my daughter and my granddaughter. I am here to tell you when it comes to representing your community, it's about elevating voices. That is one thing that I'm very passionate about is elevating voices that are often unheard or listened to. And one thing I can share about Cawther in this short time that I've had the privilege of calling her my sister is she shows up she shows up for her sisters she shows up for her community she shows up for all families and those families may not look like her or come from the same country but she is about elevating families and health care we know is very important health care in this country needs a lot of work not only a lot of work in the country, but in this state. And by having someone like Hawther being in the state house, elevating voices that are often overheard and overlooked, that is a win for not only this district, but it's a win for the people of Ohio. Thank you. Best of luck to you. Thank you, Council, uh, President, Council President. So briefly, before I uh, introduce uh, Kotha, I have, we just want to recognize, hopefully, some of the, some of the volunteers. Uh, and so, Abdul Saeed Afghan, if you can stand, please. Maruo, uh, Maruo, Suman, they're all the way in the back, too. Thank you. And then Abdul, thank you very much for, again, the community here. And we have many other volunteers that, again, donated the time and money to be here, so thank you. Uh, without any further ado, let's put our hands together for the next state representative, District 6, Kalta Musa.
السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته مجاعي جوا كوسر موسى وحرب هل كان كل يناير في جمع هالعدية ودريم يا مان تورع قاد بو أتكا أنا جه حتى أبرم شلها وصوت هاي صوت أو رنتي أهد ويرك قاد بحما مركز سوس على قارب سوس إلى ده هاي وحس ده هاي وضل أمك على بحاء أدون أقول هذا نسيت مركز قاد بأم هالسنتين سدوا كل واحد رأينا أم هالعلية دمان إن فرنتيرسكا فرنتي وقتها بريسكا بدل سوق اللي ساكى إلا تين شقينا أي وما تقانا أي سكوت بريد هوشنا وجيدا أنا يجي صور مرة إن وحرا وحيرنا عديو صوت كرسي كنا وترس تمايو ما أهان إن ما أكو رأس هذا ما أهان إن لا أكو رأس أنا أيو ما جاي جمانتي وما بدل ما تقانا أما الله كلها حتى من إنترنشنال ها أهات لكن وحنا رادينا وحواية تتكينا وحقته تتك قحوتي جاء تتك مارجنا ليس الكومين تجاء أما عندر سلف البابليشن ويقانو تتك سنا وحقته ما نكستو أديجا كو حندريم يا حد وبيح أنقطي إن ديار وأهي كبدر إن أنقطه لعك كم رادينا يصوبته ويروحواية حد لعك تسمع وحي كبدر تاي لعك تانك تسمع دون هذا كرسي أنكو جوليستو مرك لعك كم رادينا يو إن سيدا أوتيهن تشالنج سكو أدو بدينهن خاصة يوتكا دو أتبا دم بحيث ستا دمان تو تشالنج كو دمان ايان سيدو يتوان سامر كي قاران أم تدوي توان سانو جامع علم آدا ايان سكو دراب أد بيرن قنا ايان وحاسو دم حقو بحيهن إنا هيلان سرفيسيس دمايسترن أو حقو قبطا أو كعاوية مرك هذه لا سبحانه وتعالى كرسي اللي هو جلسيه وحرجينا يا حيالها إذا اللي يرد وبهين هنا ودم إن المعركة وجود قال ما إن هلان سومالي وضد طيرة لما أنت تقولي مود إيدسن كران أمدتك قحوتيجا أمدتك إماكرنتيجا وضد طيرة قف كست تقول إنه إبس لما أوضه وحقصب آه تتك نوع عصو كلا إن هلان أفرد بالهاوس وحلو يقان أفرد بالهاوس أو هشيد وإن دولة أي شرعية لا أبروف كريسة أو شرعية لا أوغلاتها قرية بدل إن لديسة وهاي سيدة أكتهين خاصة كوان بس قفكا هدور بقر إن رادي وحكو قادن الساعة لوب بوصدح بلود قرية ها لسكون تيقة أه أما دولة بحيسانة وحكو قادن الساعة 2-3 years مركضت بدل وحي خطر بجران إنا هون لسن قدان مرك إن شاء الله وحي نكا عاوين دونا هدي كرسي كنا هلا قرية بدل إنا نفنن إلا عاقو صدعي سيدا أكتهين كولومبس ريسيدنتس وحي سميان they move from Columbus to Westerfield for better school وحان ربا هدان كرسي نكو قوليستو إنا مور فندن أوكي نو كولومبس سيدي اسكوليس اسكو دايو إنا أودا غالمو دادك أيو وريهو دي دقن ماشي أي نيبرور كو دي هايستا إنا اسكولا في عن إلمو دي آدي كران سيسا أيو أموف كرانين مركا وحيالها سودان إن شاء الله هدي كرسي نكو قوليستو وحيالها أنقبان دوني كميديهين إن Tak pernah nak soal mali ya, pernah soal hari ini. Tapi di peri yang soal dah saya. Soal itu hari ini ni, pun tak jibu aha. 
وحيالها يويدهنين وحا كمد أها كوسري صومالي باتهاي إما قرأتي باتهاي وحيواتي باتهاي قبر باتهاي محارتا كرسي قرنا أقو ترتنتين من كرونتي وحيالي جين كأنا انتي سوء عاني دهان وكسبوت قريرينا قرب باكسينينا لعب باكسينينا هراء السعو لكن أي واحد يمكن نقطة إنا يريو إنا أنتر تمبا صوت وحي هذا وحي وده هن جبر هذا تاي موقف في عنبا إن إنا السياسة دي وحاس مرت أجشت بركاد وحى عن قوانكو قارس سيتوا بروح بدنا وبيحيو كان بين كيجينا فلنتيرس كده جبر كديو مبشرين إن وحن دريم يا ماتر نتكلم هلا إن سبيكر إسكو بدنا إن مرة وقت بدنا نتكسي قاتو وحن رأينا إذا كان عصده إن أتقرب إيه نقطان وحن رأينا إذا كان عصده إن أتشم كنا جت عيرتان وحن رأينا أتقرب نقصي سان سيد قفك ست حاضر سومالية إكي أفراد إكي شرط بأنه هاي وسو صار لهن not only سومالي بيبر إن سو صارنا but other new Americans إن سو صارنا إن شاء الله بإذن الله هذه أبقى أمها سنتهين